Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Sarah and this is Sand and Sea Tarot. Welcome to your reading Pisces. In this reading we're going to be looking at the situation with the person that you currently have on your mind. So this could be a past partner, this could be someone you've recently met, this could be someone that you've been with for a while. Um, and we'll be looking at the recent past energy, we'll look at the current energy, and then we'll look at the um, next few weeks future potential here. I'm going to start with pulling the initials here. These could be the initials of you. They could be the initials of your person. If I don't pull either of your initials, it doesn't mean this reading is not intended for you. Also, this reading is intended for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If something doesn't resonate, I highly recommend you just leave behind what doesn't feel good. Okay, so we have a couple of double letters here. We have two letter R's, two letter T's. And that's it. So we have two R's, two T's, A, G, D, Y, P, B, and O. So again, there's two R's, two T's, A, G, T, D, Y, B, P, O. All right, so I am going to be using the Romance Tarot today. This deck is not 100% Rider weight based, so I do read it intuitively. Um, we're going to pull a couple of Romance Angel cards first. Tell me about Pisces and their person. What's going on with Pisces and their person? take that one and one more Oop, and it landed on the floor <clears throat> okay so we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine we have it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, I do have a new light, a new light setup I'm using, and I hope it doesn't cause too much glare. My um, original camera lighting was just too big and too bulky and I needed something smaller. So we'll see if this one works out. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and pull for recent past for Pisces and the person on their mind. Recent past. Just taking a peek, there's too many there, but we will take this one. Recent pass. One more, and three. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords, um, typically in regular, Rider Waite style, the Nine of Swords would be seen as anxiety. I am getting that from this image here. And I say that because if you look at this woman back here, she looks very anxious, jealous, um, fearful. So I get the feeling here that someone is afraid that this connection is over. Someone is afraid that um, the other person's um, attention is being diverted by someone else. So there, there could be fear of a third party here. Um, I don't know if this is coming from you, if you fear there could be a third party, or if your person feels that there could be a third party. Um, but, you know, we'll look into this further. So for the recent past, we have the Ace of Swords, the, um, this is Temperance, and the last one there is um, the Chariot. 
so let's look at the current energy. Current energy for Pisces and the person. Oh, that was too many. Too many fell out, but again, I'm just gonna look at them real quick to see if they pop up again. Okay, this one did pop out. So, um, I mean, it popped out on the floor earlier. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. Near future. Near future. Near future is anything from, you know, in five minutes to a couple of months. Okay. So for near future, we have the Justice card. We have the Empress. And we have um, the Page of Cups. I do apologize for the glare. Let's see if I can, hopefully that didn't make it worse. Um, okay, so let's start with the Romance Angel cards. For the playfulness card, that really is telling you to try to have more fun in this connection. Um, this could also be a reminder for you to do things that make you feel good, um, just to bring more fun into your life. It could be maybe you've gotten a little bit too serious with this person. And so it's kind of, it could be kind of like a bump, a little bump on the shoulder there to kind of tell you to, you know, try to be more fun and take things more lightheartedly with this connection. Um, and for some of you, you may have felt like it has not been safe for you to love. Like you're scared, like you're scared you could be hurt if you open your heart. So it is safe for you to love is a reminder to, to be more open to, um, to trust that it's okay to love. If it's not this person, then, you know, obviously it's just telling you to be open to love in general, be open to love, um, loving someone else. If that's a possibility for you, you know, if you're trying to move forward, um, if it's the same person, it could be, you know, trying to open up your heart to this person and to trust this person. Um, because, I mean, I'm not a therapist or anything, but, you know, in the long run, you do have to be open to love, um, whether it's with this person that's on your mind or someone else. Um, it's never, yes, it can be scary, but it's never something that you should like avoid. Like you should like feel like, oh no, I have to keep my heart safe because then I'll get hurt because that will get you nowhere. Um, and then also for some of you, maybe there's things about this person that you've been thinking like, I don't know if this person really is my soulmate. Um, so there could be an indication here for some of you that this person could be your soulmate and maybe they're not your ideal person you thought would be your soulmate. Um, the other thing could be that maybe some of you have felt this person is your soulmate and this could be like coming to you as a message that, hey, maybe this person is not your soulmate and to be open-minded that someone else that you could, you know, least expect could be your soulmate. Okay, so for the recent past, recent past is anywhere from, you know, a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, up to a couple of months. This is not years ago with this person. So for the recent past, you have the Ace of Swords, you have Temperance, and you have the Chariot. So I do feel like in the recent past, there was some kind of breakthrough in communication some kind of truth had come out. Um, so there could have been an honest conversation that was had here. Um, and possibly this conversation was leading into, um, you know, wanting to start things over, take things to the next level, um, start progressing things along in this connection. Um, you have 
that's what the chariot, that's what that means. It's taking things, you know, moving forward for this connection. So I do feel like there was some kind of conversation here in the recent past about moving things forward. Chariot is also cancer energy. So you could be dealing with a cancer. The temperance card tells me that there has, in the recent past, there has been um, the need or trying to bring in more balance in this connection. So this could have been either your person trying to bring in more balance. This could have been you trying to bring more balance in this connection. Meaning for you, it could be like not putting 100% of your energy into this connection and still having the balance of family, friends, you know, um, work life too. Um, for your person, maybe this means that your person was not giving in the past before. Um, it could have been very one-sided. And then your person in the recent past has been trying to bring in more balance in this connection, trying to put more effort and, and concentration, focus on this connection. This is also the card of healing. And this is Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, so there could be some healing that has recently happened for this connection in the recent past. For the current energies here, you have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Coins, or the Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. So the Page of Swords, this is about someone that wants to communicate with you. So maybe there hasn't been much communication recently. Um, so this person really does want to message you. This is often someone that's trying to gain some knowledge here. So they could be spying on your social media to get some answers or, you know, investigate. With the Queen of Pentacles, um, I feel that this is a situation here. I don't feel like this is the energy of a person. I do feel like this is the desire of your person is they, they want something long-term, stable, and secure. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing. She's warm. She is very grounded, um, extremely independent. Um, you know, she can stand on her own two feet. So I feel like this is the energy this person, your person desires for in this connection is something stable, long-term, secure, um, you know, that doesn't, that you're not going to be like worried about this person up and leaving. Like this person really wants to be more present, more grounded in this connection. Um, the five of pentacles here, five of pentacles to me in this particular deck this shows me that like this person is kind of, someone's kind of neutral here. And I feel like this is you, Pisces. I feel like you could be kind of neutral. I, I feel like this is also you. It's safe for you to love. I feel like this is really meant for you. Um, I feel like you've been afraid to love this person or to trust other people. Um, and I do feel like you're just kind of neutral about things with this person. Kind of like if things happen, great. If they don't, great. I'm going to move forward. Um, I feel like there's the energy of someone that is more excited about this connection than the other person. So I do feel like this is you, that you're not as excited. You're just kind of neutral about it. Probably because this person has hurt you and created a lot of anxiety in the past for you. So I feel like you just want to, you just want to keep your feet on the ground, put it that way. You're not living with your head in the clouds. For the near future, you have the Justice card, the Empress, and the Page of Cups. I love this. So the Justice card here, this is about someone trying to make things more balanced, more fair. Um, this is recognizing that someone was not treated fairly, and now there's this... Um, you know, it's like tipping the scales to if it was being treated unfairly, now it's like being treated fairly. So um, this could be Libra energy you're dealing with. So I definitely feel like this person really wants to create more balance and to treat you right this time. This is also the card about making amends. And you have two cards here that is about making amends. You have the Justice card. You also have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is often an apology. So I do feel like this person does want to offer an apology. Um, they definitely want to have some communication with, with you here. Um, you also have the Empress here. The Empress is the divine feminine energy. So this is like your person sees you as their other half, their perfect mate. They feel like you, um, bring a lot of, like there's a lot of growth with you for this connection. They find you very, very attractive, very beautiful. Um, but again, we have to keep in mind, we have this nine of swords energy, which is about anxiety, sleeplessness. Um, 
I do feel like this could be your person. I feel like your person is very anxious because maybe they feel like you're no longer interested because you have this kind of neutral energy about yourself here with this five of pentacles. Um, so even though they want to, you know, make amends, treat you right, they see you as like their forever person, um, they could be getting some feedback from you or reading your energy in which you may not be on the same page as them. So we're going to go ahead and clarify and use the Everyday Witch Tarot, which is my favorite deck right now. So we're first going to clarify the Ace of Swords. Why the Ace of Swords? Okay, that's too many cards that jumped out, but just peeking at them. There was the Nine of Swords that showed up again. Why the Ace of Swords? Okay, so for the Ace of Swords, we have the Sun. Very beautiful energy here. And we have the Death card. So I feel like in the past here, Ace of um, Swords would be, you know, this breakthrough, this big conversation. Um, so the sun is Leo energy. And this tells me that like um, there was some kind of conversation about you. They were, there really is this feeling of wanting happiness for this connection, this happy ending, this ultimate bliss. Um the sun is one of the happiest cards in tarot. So I do feel like, you know, that both of you just really want to be happy and you both really want the best for one another. And, you know, I feel like this is the energy of your person. Your person really wants this connection to bring happiness to both of you. I have the death card here. The death card is often closing the door to the past and opening the door to a new beginning for this connection. It's transform. It's transformation. So it's transforming from something that was not working, um, you know, past hurt, leaving that behind and opening the door to something brighter. And especially with that sun card there, this is the indication that this person wants a new brighter beginning for this connection. So let's go ahead and clarify now temperance. Why temperance? Oop, where did it go? Okay, one more for temperance. The temperance card is clarified by the magician. So the magician is Gemini and Virgo energy. Um, the magician is all about manifesting. So this is like knowing your own power, knowing that you have all the resources and skills to accomplish whatever it is that you desire. So I do feel like, you know, there was this healing, there was this feeling of more balance being created or trying to be created in this connection. Um, I do feel like this magician is your person, is representation of your person that they, they're they now taking, you know, the, the power into their own hands to try to manifest you, to manifest, you know, this happy ending for this connection. You also have the judgment card. So this is the card about second chances. This person definitely wants a new beginning, new start here with you. Um, they want to revive this connection. Um, maybe, you know, it's felt really dead for some time and this person wants to breathe new life into it. This is Scorpio energy with the judgment card there too. So you have heavily scor heavy Scorpio energy here. Okay, so why the chariot? The chariot is clarified by the four of swords and the ten of wands. So the four of swords, you know, it's, I feel like there's been this period of rest that's been going on for this connection, meaning there hasn't been any movement. To me, this often means no communication. Um, so I would even say as much as the last four months, there has not been much communication. Um, that's not going to resonate with everybody, but that's the feeling I get here that it could have been um, the last between four weeks and four months of like not much communication happening. Um, but obviously here with the chariot, you know, there is this desire to move forward. So 
Um, you know, if you weren't communicating in the past, this person wants to move away from that, move to, towards the future of more communication here with you. Um, they want to come out of this period of rest for this connection, especially because they want to reawaken it here with this judgment card. Um, the Ten of Wands here tells me that this person feels like this you guys have been at this connection for quite some time um it can feel quite burdensome sometimes um it could be that this feel the person is feeling their emotions are very burdensome on them about this connection um perhaps this person has not revealed much of their emotions towards you so i feel like that is why this person wants some forward movement here for this connection because it's hard for them to hold back anymore and they're tired of this rest period that's been happening in this connection. Why the Page of Swords? Why the Page of Swords? Page of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands. So the Queen of Swords here, um, this is someone that wants direct communication. She is very blunt. She's straight to the point. I feel like this is your energy. So we have the Page of Swords here as this person that is spying on your social media, trying to find out information about you as much as they can. They want to communicate with you. Often it's not a very significant form of communication. So the first communication could be kind of just like an icebreaker. It's nothing really big or huge. And the reason why is this person is kind of walking on eggshells around you because they see you here as this queen of swords. The queen of swords is also very emotionally distant. Again, I do feel like this is my confirmation that it is you that kind of feels neutral about this person. I feel like you've pulled back your energy greatly from this person and um, you're waiting for them to come forward and you know, have this conversation with you. Maybe it's to make amends. Maybe in the recent past, this person was making some effort for a new beginning. And then they kind of took a break again here with this four of swords energy, which now has caused you to put your guard back up. So it's like, it feels like this person needs to break through those walls again. Five of wands. Um, this could be seen as though you're on different pages. So this could be your energy, Pisces, that you may feel like you and this person are on different pages, maybe because you expected more movement here in the past from this person and then, you know, things didn't really take off. So then you might be having second thoughts about, is, is this my person that I really want to invest any more effort in? Um, you know, I'm tired of this limbo. I'm tired of, you know, there could be some fighting, some conflict here, but this could be you questioning if you and this person are on the same page anymore. So why the Queen of Pentacles? Why the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, we have two cards that jumped out. We have the Justice card again, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Justice card to me, again, this is about someone wanting to treat you fairly, they realize they did not treat you fairly. This is also truth. So I feel like this person has really come forward with their truth about, you know, their feelings for you, what what it is they want with this connection with you. They've been very honest with themselves here as well. Um, and the fact that it's clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, to me, the Justice card is often legal documents, right? So to me, I feel like this person is also thinking of marriage here with you. Um, this is Libra energy that you could be dealing with. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is, um, this is someone that wants to take things very slowly here with you, but that they do want to be more consistent and reliable in your life. This Knight is very reliable and loyal. So if you felt they weren't in the past, this person is going to show up, show up now being more reliable and loyal towards you. It's very slow movement, but um, you will see this. Um, and again, this is current energy we're still looking at. So why the five of coins or the five of pentacles? Again, this is like, I feel like you're being neutral in this. Why the five of pentacles? Okay, five of pentacles is clarified by the two of wands 
and the Hermit card. So the Two of Wands, this is someone that has made a conscious decision to move forward with something. And look at the energy. Look where this person is looking. They're looking into the past. So this is your person. They, they're looking in the past. They're looking at you. They've made a decision to move forward here with you. But we have the Hermit. I feel like this is you. And this is a reason why we have in this Five of Pentacles card, while we have one person that's really excited and one person that's kind of neutral. So I feel like the person that, that's excited is your person here. They've made a decision. They want to move forward with you. What's next? They're looking forward to the next steps here. And then you have you, the hermit here, Virgo energy. You're sitting in your own headspace. You're putting your, your yourself first. You're putting your needs. What You're looking really deeply at what you want in life, what makes you happy. Um, and so it's like you are trying to shut out this other person's energy, your person's energy to focus on yourself. So that's why we have this kind of unequal balance right now where one of you is like very excited about this connection and the other one is trying to focus on themselves. So let's look at the future potential here. Future potential, why the justice card. Oh, and I forgot to mention the Knight of Pentacles is also Virgo energy. So there's strong Virgo here. Um, I'll just go through it again real quick. So we have um, Leo. There's strong Scorpio here. There's Gemini Virgo. Um, very strong Virgo. There's Libra. Strong Libra, rather. Um, yeah. Okay. And so we have this card jump out right now. Let's pull one more for why the Justice card. One more for justice. Okay, so the justice card is clarified by the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is about someone that held back before. So I do feel like that you were not being treated fairly in this connection because this person was holding back. They weren't revealing emotions they weren't giving of their time they weren't they weren't giving of their you know um finances for this connection but this this person really desires to change that because that's what this justice card is it's about bringing it's like rebalancing the scales if it was uneven before if one person was giving more this person wants to tip the scales back to make it even so that both of you are giving of your emotions, time, and energy into this connection. So your, your person really wants to do that. There's a lot of that in this reading. We've had the Justice card pop up twice. We've had Temperance pop up, which is all about creating balance in this connection. And then um, here, I feel like the strong message is this person really wants to work at investing in this relationship. So they definitely were not very focused on this relationship in the past. And now um, in the near future, their focus is going to be heavily on this connection. So why the Empress card? Okay. The Empress card is clarified by the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords. <clears throat> so... This person does see you as their forever mate, the person they want to have children with. If you're older and can't have children, this is someone that they still see like raising a family with. So you could have children from other marriages. You could have adult children, but th there could even be grandchildren that are in the picture. But it's this, still this feeling of like, you know, being a co-parent with someone. Um, and then you, this is clarified by the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is often heartbreak. So it's like this person realizes you know, that they caused you a lot of heartbreak in the past, but they really want to move forward here with you with the Six of Swords. They want to move towards smoother water. So it's like they really want to leave this heartbreak in the past and move forward here with you because they do feel like you are their person. You're the person that they feel they are meant to be with. So why the Page of Cups? Why the Page of Cups?
Okay, Page of Cups is clarified by the wheel. I had a feeling this was gonna come out. By the Wheel of Fortune, and look at that, the Empress again. There's your double confirmation right there. This person wants to apologize to you and make things right because they do feel like you are their person. Here you are again, the Empress. Empress again is Taurus and Libra energy. So um, they feel like there's a lot of growth potential here with you. They can't imagine their life with anyone else. You are the person they're supposed to be with. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is all about this connection feeling as though it's faded. It's meant to be. Um, this is the de desire of wanting to start a new cycle with this person. So, um, or with you rather. So we had that with the judgment card, like wanting a new beginning, um, you know, waking up this connection. And now you have the Wheel of Fortune. It's like this person wants to close out the cycle of this connection from, you know, like if it wasn't working, there was heartbreak. And this person wants to end all of that nasty stuff and start this new beginning here with you. Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy, by the way. Um, and then again, we have this overall energy as the Nine of Swords. So I do feel like it's your person is having a lot of anxiety right now, um, a lot of sleepless nights. They are heavily thinking about their next moves, what to say to you, how to come back in. Um, I feel like there has been a period of silence or not much communication. So this person is definitely trying to figure out, you know, how to communicate with you. What is it to, to say to you to kind of get the conversation going again? And so that there could be some forward movement for this connection again. There can be this reconciliation. Um, I'm going to pull a couple of cards and these could be some characteristics of this person. So tell me more about Pisces person. By the way, I forgot to mention that I am still doing personalized readings at this time. They are a priority. I do those first before I even get on YouTube to do these readings for you guys. Sorry, but it's just the way it is. So if you're interested in, interested in a personalized reading, um, there's a link in the description box below where you could book a reading with me. Also, there's going to be an extended for this reading, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. So Pisces person. Okay. Okay, I think that's going to be enough there. We got quite a bit. Okay, so the first one we have is your person could have brown hair. They could be allergic to certain foods. They have a nice smile. They could have a facial piercing. Um... They could be a Cancer, born between June 21st and July 21st. They're emotional, diplomatic, intense, impulsive, and selective. Um, they could be taller than you. They could have blue eyes. And they could use some dental work. <laughs> okay, um, so in the extended, we're going to be looking at everything 100% from your person's point of view. We look at how they view the current situation, how they view the past with you, what's happening around them in the next couple of weeks, what are they currently thinking about, what their current energy is, how they see you currently, um, what could be influencing them you know, in their environment that could be either helping or hindering any movement in this connection. We'll look at a hope, wish, fear, or possible action they could be taking and what do they hope for as a potential outcome. I'm also going to look to see if there's anything that they're hiding from you, anything that you need to know for your best and highest good. So to have access to the extended, you need to join the channel membership. There's a link in the description box to join the channel membership. That's also where you'll find the link for this extended reading. Um, when you join the channel membership, that gives you access to all of the extendeds for a full month. Okay, so thank you so much for watching Pisces and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.